In July 2017, Adobe announced that it would discontinue Adobe Flash. Adobe Flash is a computer software that is used to view multimedia content, stream audio and video, and play Flash games. In fact, YouTube video that you're watching right now used to run on Adobe Flash until they migrated to HTML5 that along with WebGL and WebAssembly replaced Adobe Flash as they've matured over the years. So what is HTML5 and why is it replacing Adobe Flash? HTML5 is a hypertext markup language that is used to display content on the web. In simple terms, it's the better version of uh, HTML or the, you should say the latest version of the HTML. And there are several reasons that make it more viable than uh, Adobe Flash. Reason number one, it's native, which means it requires no plugin to run it. Reason number two, it draws less power. Reason number three, it's lightweight and uh, requires less CPU resources to render. Reason number four, it's open source. And reason number five, it's SEO friendly. Adobe announced that it would stop supporting uh, Adobe Flash after December 31st, uh, 2020. As of January 12, 2021, uh, Adobe blocks all the uh, Flash content from running on Flash Player. And uh, major browsers disabled and will continue to disable uh, Adobe Flash from running, which also means there are no uh, updates or patches to be expected. Uh, which means it's best to delete it so that you can avoid privacy or security breaches. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can delete it. We're going to go onto uh, Adobe Flash Player uninstall page and we're going to see the steps and, and go step by step. So let's get started. All right. So I'm on the uh, on the page for uninstalling Flash Player and these are the steps that we're going to follow to uninstall Adobe Flash. So the first step is we're going to download the uninstaller for Adobe Flash. Uh, the, uh, the second step is that we're going to exit all browsers or programs that use Adobe Flash. After that we're going to run the uninstaller and after that you have a step where you have to remove these files uh, or I should say all the files from this directory and from this directories as well. So uh, let me go ahead and I'm going to uh, download the uninstaller first. I downloaded the uninstaller. Okay. So it's ready to run. So I'm going to close my browser now. I'm going to go ahead to downloads and I'm going to run the uninstaller. Yes, I don't need that. Uh, I'm gonna click uninstall or automatically continue when this are closed. Okay, I think. All right, so if this issue comes up, you're gonna go ahead here and you're gonna hit exit. Okay, and as you can see, it's now uninstalling Adobe Flash. Please restart your system to complete the uninstallation process. So we're going to click done. And it's redirecting you to this page. So I'm just going to close that. Uh, let's see. All right. Now what we're going to do, uh, is we're gonna put this path into the uh, run so to open the um, uh, run you're gonna press Windows R and it opens and yeah I have it pasted already so I'm just gonna click OK and it takes you to this directory so what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to delete all these files so basically just select them and click delete but when you're going to do that, you're going to face this error. So let, let's see what happens when I click continue. So it says you require permission from trusted installer to make changes to this file. And that's the issue that a lot of people might be facing. So it's not working. So basically what it says is some trusted installer is not letting us, 
does not grant us permission to delete it. So if we check on any of the files, we go ahead and check properties and go to security. As you can see, if I select my user, the only permission that it has is read and execute and read. It does not have full control or write permission, but the trusted installer does have full control and read and write permission. So in order for us to delete this, and you can do this file by file, but it's going to be a lot of work. So what I suggest doing, you just go ahead uh, up into the folder and you're going to need to clean the files from this folder. So you're going to right click on this. You're going to click properties, go to security, and you're going to hit advanced right here. So after you hit advanced, you're going to see this window. So what you're going to do, uh, as you can see, the it says here owner, trusted installer. So you're going to click change right here. Uh, and then you're going to hit advanced right here. In the next window, you're just going to click find now. Don't do anything, just click find now. So it's going to find uh, and it's going to give you this list. And what you're going to do, you're going to scroll down until you find your user. Usually it's uh, the icon of one person. Please make sure it's your user. It's going to have your, your computer name next to it. So uh, you're going to select that, or I should say double click that. And it's going to return you to this uh, pop-up. And here you will see that your user is now uh, in this <coughs> field. <coughs> And here you will see that your user is now in this field. So what you're going to do, you're going to hit OK. After that, you're going to click on auditing and you're going to click add. So here we need to give principal access. So what we're going to do, we're going to click select principal and we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to hit advanced. We're going to click find. We're going to again find our user or your user in this case. I'm going to select the user and I'm going to click OK. It's going to be pasted in this window and I'm going to click OK here as well. And right now you can see that you can give the permissions for this user. So and it applies to this folder, subfolders and files. So what you're going to do, you're going to click full control. You're going to hit OK. Now, as you can see, we have auditing entries and we have success. Uh, your user and you have full control so you're going to hit apply and it's going to uh, bring up the pop-up that says if you haven't just taken if you have just taken ownership of this object you will need to close and reopen this object's properties before you can view or change permissions so what that basically means is after we apply we need to close the the properties window and we need to open it again in order for us to actually add permission for our user so i'm going to hit okay here and I'm going to hit OK here as well. So on this window, you can hit OK or close. It doesn't, I don't think it matters. You're going to hit, uh, let's say I click OK. I'm going to again open properties for this folder, security. And now I'm going to select my user. And now I can click edit and actually add full control. Right? So I can select my user and add full control. I'm going to hit apply. It's going to say you're about to change the permission settings on system folders. This can reduce the security of your computer and cause users to have problems accessing files. Do you want to continue? Click yes. Sometimes you might see that error. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just skip it. Then click delete. Click yes. And now as you can see, all the files got deleted. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and repeat the process for the rest of the directories. So I'm going to go do again uh, Windows run. I'm going to paste this uh, path. I'm going to click OK. 
Now, if you try to delete it again, it's not going to let you. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go up uh, directory. We're going to select properties, security. And by the way, if you go right here, you can see I can try to edit right now and it won't let me. It won't let me to edit it. That's why we need to assign access to our, our user so we can so we can edit the permissions. So we're going to click again advanced. We're going to click on the owner. We're going to click change. We're going to hit advanced. Find now. We're going to find our user. And we're going to click OK. The user is added. We're going to click OK again. And then click auditing, add. We're going to assign principal access again. So we're going to hit advanced. We're going to say find now and choose our user. Click OK again. Click OK. Assign full control permission and hit OK. Now click apply. The same pop up comes up that since I changed the ownership, I'm going to have to edit the, the controls uh, manually, but only after I restart this window. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click OK here and again click OK here. Now I'm going to again go to properties. I'm going to open security. Select my user, click edit. Select my user. Click on full control. Hit apply. Click yes. Some error occurred. I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just click continue. All right. Now open this. Select all the files, hit delete, click yes, and they're deleted. So I'm not going to repeat, uh, I'm not going to show you the, the, uh, how I delete this ones because it's going to be the same process, uh, over and over. So just do the same for the rest of it. And after that, we're going to check. Okay, I don't have any files here anyway. After that, we're just gonna go ahead and restart the computer. We're gonna open the browser and check the status of the Flash Player as it is recommended here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll come back. All right, so I restarted my computer and the last thing we're gonna do, is we're actually gonna go ahead and check if the Flash Player is uninstalled. So let's see. We're going to click on this link. And it says, if you see clouds moving in the animation below, you have successfully installed Flash Player. So the fact that it doesn't move, and I'm going to refresh it, means that we have successfully uninstalled Flash Player. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. For more tech tips and tricks, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in the next one.